Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Terminator Resistance. I see something glowing. Hello, I love those. <laughs> We're carrying around here in the warehouse district or whatever the fuck it is. I've got to find these tools for Ryan, I don't know where they are. Are they around here somewhere? I think they must be. They're meant to be here. I don't know where. Crafting table? No. Where the are they? It's electric parts. Somewhere in this space. I don't remember if I found like a little hidden alcove or something I needed to go through. I don't know. Hmm. I'm poke a trade resource. I love that. I'm poke around here for a moment, see if I can find anything. Yeah, there was a thing over here, wasn't there? Alright. So let's see what we've got. Aha! Set of tools! Awesome! Tools for Ryan. Completed. stuff in there. Ooh, new skill point. See what I can do with that. I think I'll increase my backpack capacity. Because it's getting very full, and I'd like to make sure that I can carry more stuff. It's being somewhat of a collect-a-thon now, so good to be prepared. Alright, we could go and blow up this plasma storage. And then we're going to go off to this other resistance outpost. You got what you were looking for? I did. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day. Oh, Colin. Jesus. Ever the miserable fucker, aren't you? See what we can do about this plasma storage. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, oh, that's what I want to do. Search you, grab all your stuff. I keep hearing something, I don't know what it is. Uh, more spiders over this way. Oh, did you? Resistance? Nah, it looked like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You hmm. know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all those resources? Shit. I might even give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking. I'll do that. Don't do anything stupid, okay? I know it might be hard for you. Hmm. Couple of the armored spiders, I think. Or an armored spider, and that looks like a turret. Is it a turret? Plasma turret. Ooh. It's gonna be an ouch. There's a shotgun in the trunk of that police car in front of the building. I left it there for you. Take it and learn how to use it. The annihilation line's coming, so more and more terminators will start to show up. The shotgun won't kill them, but you'll at least be able to knock them down and escape. Oh, and make sure to reload after every shot. That's a thing with shotguns. One other thing, I swiped a gun from the gun from the resistance. Save me the speech. These assholes kept keep all the guns to themselves, but we need to protect ourselves too. Saviors of humanity, my ass. Didn't realize your ass was the uh, savior of humanity. Okay, another shotgun. In the police car. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lockpick you. Yep. There we go. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Back out into here. Okay. And this is going to get me around into where the plasma storage is, I think. Oh, I can certainly hear something. Ooh. Blow up the cont containers to destroy the storage. Oh, what these? Oh, yeah, okay. Huh. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. I might want to hide. At least a little. There's a big old spider boy gone. There you are. Oh, yeah, you spotted me as well. Congratulations. Hope you feel proud of yourself. Alright, what's left? Just the turret. Big explosion. I think that took out the turret for me. Certainly seems like it did. Uh, where's the... Ah, uh, there you are. And you can just go boom. Yeah, that'll do it. Another level up. Sweet. Right, there's something on my thing here. Right. Who are you? Hack. Ah, oh, right, okay. I need a hacking device for that. I was wondering what the little icon on my map was. That's why I was curious. Right, so what have I got left of on the map? Pretty much just got to get up here now, so... That's my focus. Destroy damaged walls with explosives. Well, yeah, I know that. I'm just looking around for things. Oh, like that. And I'll try to break into this. Nailed it. Grab all of the shit. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't really go anywhere, does it? But it certainly seems like there's more out over this way. Maybe I can get around there through this or something. I don't know. Do you open? Yeah, you do. side. Yeah, I'm not getting around that way. Okay, so you need to explode. Duly noted. Huh. I do it. Wondering if I should be quite so uh, liberal with these uh, pipe bombs. I mean, I can always craft more, so there is that. Mm 
Oh, not too close. Oh. You spotted me though, you bugger. things downstairs. Right. Yeah. Fuck you, no. Okay, ow. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm gonna use another one of those. This is really fucking hurting. Oh, he's nearly dead. Come on. There we go. Got him. Whoa! <laughs> Still takes me by surprise. And I don't know why. I do like this M16 though. It's very good. Right. There's another spider. Another spider over there. Hey, little spooder. Where you going? Come on here. There we go. The other one is nowhere near me, so I'm fine for now. Anything worth poking around in over this way? Probably gonna be a no. Always worth checking though. Whoa, I hear something. Oh. There you are. Eesh. Sneaky bitch. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh no, this is the other side of all that. Okay. Yeah, right. Cool. I got my bearings. This area is quite big and open, and there's quite a lot of stuff to go and look at, so I'm just kind of getting lost a little bit. I mean, you know, it's good fun. I'm enjoying it. It's fun to get lost in like, some of these big, wide open areas sometimes. Just open all the doors. Why not? Locked from the other side. Oh, okay, how do I get around to it? There'll be a hole in the roof for me to fall through. There certainly is. Right. Ugh. Nice, got me some pipe bombs. Not much else. But it will do. Right. Now I think we can get on with going to where we need to be. No signs of any Skynet activity. For now at least. I think I can get around this way and find that other little spider scout though. You go. 
Oh, this thing really packs a wallop. And I'm sure that this gun is nothing compared to what I'm going to unlock later. I just want to check this route because I have a feeling there might be something worth looking at down here. Oh. Well, there's another armoured spider, so I suppose that's something to look at. Come on, come on. Yeah, I know I'm detected. Got him! Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Have I been in here? I don't know. I'm guessing not, because there's stuff I haven't picked up and boxes I haven't gone through, so... Give me a minute, I'm going to clear the place out. Uh, locked from the other side. Mm. A challenge. Not enough of a challenge for me. No, I don't want to... Okay, let's just stick with you. And thieve absolutely bloody everything. So that's how we do things in these games. Ooh, a skill book. Two skill points available. Nice! Well, I got one skill point from the book. I had one already, so... Hey, that, that's not bad. And there's even more over this way. This map just goes on. Again, no Skynet activity around here. Yet. I'm sure I'll run into something. Oh, right, okay. I have to come back here later. Cool. Oh, is this the factory that Colin was going on about or something? I'm guessing it probably is. Why do these doors always open into my face? <laughs> it's rude. So all these buildings are just distracting me so very badly. <laughs> so stop it, I've got things to do. Uh, oh, bird of prey. They came by again. Ever since Skynet arrived in Pasadena, everyone's gotten more violent, desperate, and hungry. I don't know how long I'll be able to protect my babies, but I'll fight to the death if I have to. Damn. Okay. Oh! Down we go. Okay. Let's have a look at this other outpost. Ooh. Okay. Hi! How are you doing? Fuck off, mate. Thank you. I'll have all that shit from you, thank you. So I'm guessing that because one of those was here, things have not, not gone particularly well. Oh, can I have this? This looks like it'd be fun to drive. <laughs> it's like a big funky trike buck. Trike, trike truck. Bike truck. Trike buck. I don't know. I'm going to go with that one. Because why the fuck wouldn't you? Uh, underground, is it? Alright. No, guards. Not a good sign. no, and I think the giant robot that was out the front wasn't particularly good either. Yeah. Nobody's home. Ooh, coffee shop. Fantastic. A few trade resources, though. We'll grab all of the shit that's lying around, and then we'll look at all the important documents and stuff. Map. Let's see. Map. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Okay. So is that our next target? Must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin! Shit. Uh, so I gotta go and find Colin, save him from whatever the fuck stupid shit he's gotten himself into. I'll have all that first though, and that, thank you. Oh, on a level six already. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna spend some skill points. Uh, beg your pardon? New quest. Where is Colin? Who the fuck cares? He's a dickhead. Oh, go for a fast learner too. Yep, yeah, we'll have that. Further increases my EXP gain. And I think might do extra weapon damage. I'll save my last point in case I come across like medium locks, because then I can immediately get that. Might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna craft anything. Okay, I made myself a couple of lockpicks, but let's get down to this factory. I'm gonna go and find Colin's stupid ass. Um, explosive canister. Oh! Whoa! Gee! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I need to pay attention to those. It <laughs> caught me off so off guard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. In we go. Let's see if we can find the silly sod. <gasps> Wrong button. That's the one. <laughs> Alright. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Colin seems. <laughs> In what way? Ooh, so where the fuck are we going? Ooh, hello. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Nice. Stuff? No. Alright. Got away from me. What? Ooh. No! Colin! Talk to me, Colin! What got him? Was it the man or No, those gunshots sounded close. Fuck is he? This place is a bit of a maze. God oh. damn it! Oh. Is that blood fresh? Oh shit! I think he straight up killed Colin. Ooh. Hi. Who the fuck? Wait a minute, no. It's a Terminator, isn't Jacob it? Rivers, yup. Hi. Oh, holy fuck, saved by Optimus Prime. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Who the fuck's in there? Another hooded figure. Are you a Are good you guy? All right, Jacob. You the one I've been speaking to on the radio. Jacob. Snap time. <laughs> Hours. 
hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. Oh. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. Hmm. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe. So we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? Mm, just about. How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Okay. Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Well, that's something. <laughs> How's it going? Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. <laughs> I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. I beg your pardon? Um... How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. I'll see if I can do anything. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. That's reasonable. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. That's fair enough. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? Uh... Hmm... How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Why would they, they keep you alive? It worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first. But I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. About that camp... What do you want to know? Ooh, okay. How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It Ooh. wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. What was your plan? 
I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. Well, it's not so bad, I suppose. And Karen died giving birth. She didn't oh. even get to see her child. Jeez. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Eesh. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Wow. Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Okay. I'll do that. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> oh, man. More fabrics. Cool. Alright, another skill point was made available. So I might get crafting one. I can see what things I can produce. That unlocks pipe bombs, sound decoys, and red plasma cells. Hmm. And I think I've probably got some stuff I can sell. Oh yeah. I've got three M16s and two shotguns. I don't think I need them all. And honestly, I'm doing really good for a lot of ammo. <laughs> all looking fantastic right now. Um, buy the two pipe bombs. I'll buy all the med kits. Alright, now I need to go and talk to Ryan. See okay. what he wants. Ooh. Now sit. <laughs> Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. Don't worry, he'll get it. Give him time. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Hmm. <laughs> Max or Wolfie? We're gonna go with Max. How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. Good. Max it is. Remember, if anybody calls asking about Wolfie... It's the wrong person. <laughs> you wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good. Good to see you finally turned the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? I will do. Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be, however, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard, or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. Uh, okay. You have a brother. I, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a better view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Damn. What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. An atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. No, it's a fair My point. bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. I finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started 
falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God. I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. <laughs> Well, that's just an unfortunate band name, isn't it? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, I've got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? That's the big question. Uh, hospital seems to be the place where we need to go. But I think we can probably save that for the next episode. I'll get myself out into the area. Just to make sure that it saves. Like gives me a like autosave checkpoint thing. There we go. This would be the hospital district or medical district. So we've got to go and find Jennifer. And then I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more other stuff to be getting on with around here. A load of subquests and all that kind of stuff. This place is nice and creepy. But we've had our first interaction with an actual Terminator unit. So uh, it's gonna be fun to see where things are gonna go from here. But for now, I will wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays and Metal Covers and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video. I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield signing off. That smells really good. <laughs> poop poop. What kind of shop are you in? <laughs> <laughs>